In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, power bleeder of a pickle jar. You'll need these tools for this project. Just chuck up a quarter inch drill. This is one of the lids to the pickle jar. I'm going to drill a hole in the center of it. And in the other one, I'm going to drill two holes close to the center. What I have in here is a 3 8 hole and I've chamfered the corners with one of these 45 degree chamfering tools. Now I made a mark on my punch that shows me about where 3 8 is. Let's do this one first. I'm going to set this in the middle and I'm going to take a tapered punch and I'm going to drive it. And that's going to curl this thing out. Punch in there. Punch that hole. And punch. This is quarter inch ID hose, 3 8 OD clear plastic tubing. And I want it to push through tight. We'll push through one way and catch the other way. The length I put here is going to go into my master cylinder. Make it about 16 inches long. Down about 16 inches. If you can't get it started, you can put a little bit of a on the holes, push it through the hole. I'm going to measure how long my hose is, about five inches, so five inches, measure five inches, I'll right, pull this hose through. That way when I set it in the pickle jar, it goes all the way to the bottom. I take the leftover piece of hose, tape around it, tape and push it through. I want that up towards the top of the jar. Right, that's my little trap there to catch the brake fluid. Okay, now that I have my hoses pulled through the lids, I have a barb here and I'm going to hook this. This part will go to the master cylinder. Push this barb on here. And this will go to the bottom of the pickle jar. This will come out of the top of the pickle jar. This valve will be able to shut off my vacuum source. And all I need to do is put the jar on there to capture the fluid coming out of the system. I think I'm ready to try it out. Now that I have my vacuum hooked up to my jar on the short tube, I'm going to set this here and I'm going to go start the vehicle. Now that I have the car running, I'm sticking this over the top of the master cylinder and pushing down on it to seal it up. Then I open up the belt. Whoa! Man, does that work good? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.